Now, did you guys, are you guys dressed up as pimps or are you just working tonight? Did you even know? There's some guys dressed up as pimps, but I, I don't know if, I don't know if they even knew there was a Halloween event out here today. Because all these girls are dressed so immodestly. Um, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if, if these were Halloween costumes or if there was just a shift change over at the strip club. So, so who's ready? Listen up, Bob Ross. Let me paint you a clear picture. If you die as an unrepentant sinner, you're going to burn in hell. Let me paint you a clear picture, Bob Ross. No happy tree is no happy little tree is going to save you from God's wrath on Judgment Day. It's just God. Very. No, it's not going to be party time excellent in the lake of fire, Wayne. Not going to be party time excellent in the lake of fire. Don't join. Don't join. Uh, you know, maybe Garth will get saved. Maybe Garth could get saved, Wayne. Not going to be party time excellent for Wayne's world in the lake of fire. Who's ready? So are these, are these, the, are these the VIP drunkards? It looks like we have some VIP drunkards that are getting uh, to go to the head of the line. Look at the VIP drunkards that get to skip the line. You guys must really be serious about your sin. If these news people are the VIP sinners, they got to be escorted to the front of the line, and they didn't have to go through all of that line right there because uh, there's some type of VIP sinner. Uh, yeah, wait, you ain't ready for it. You ain't ready for God's judgment. I guarantee you that. You are not ready for God's judgment. That's why we're out here warning you so that you won't face his judgment. We're trying to save you from God's judge, uh, just judgment. Because there's coming a day when his just judgment will be revealed. And it is not going to bode well for people who died as drunkards and liars and thieves. Listen up, convict. Jesus Christ could set you free. Jesus Christ could set you free. He could break those chains. He could break those chains, Convict. What did yep. you, you do in your center days? Did you do this? Oh, I used to be a wicked sinner. No, I've never gone to pub crawls. I was too cheap. I was too cheap. I used to I used to get drunk. I used to be a wicked sinner like many of you. I used to be a wicked sinner like many of you. I used to get drunk uh, until I realized, until I realized that I would actually rather spend eternity in God's kingdom than, uh, than spend a night here and a night there drunk. Waking up with a hangover, feeling terrible. You know, and if I would have died, if I would have died uh, when I used to get drunk, if I would have died as a drunken, uh, in my drunken stupor, I would have woken up in hell and I'd have nobody to blame for my, but myself. So praise God. Praise God he gave me enough time. Praise God he gave me enough time to realize what I was doing was so stupid and so much spitting in God's face. That, uh, that I, I responded properly to the call of Christ, stopped getting drunk, lived soberly, so that I could uh, honor God with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. Listen up, Nemo. Listen up, Nemo and Mermaid. Don't worry about finding Nemo. You need to find Jesus. Don't worry about finding Nemo. You need to find Jesus Christ. Listen up, Mermaid. You need to swim to the foot of the cross. Salt water ain't going to save you on Judgment Day. Only the blood of Jesus Christ. Only the blood of Jesus Christ is going to save you on Judgment Day. David Hasselhoff can't save you from the wrath of God. Only Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ. After, ladies, after about seven or eight Jägermeisters, that guy's going to actually start looking doable. That guy's going to actually start looking doable after about seven or eight Jägermeisters. Listen up, blind mice. You're the blind lead, following the blind, you're both going to end up in a ditch. Jesus Christ healed the blind. The three blind mice need to come to Jesus Christ. He can heal their blindness, give them eyes to see, give them eyes to see. You could have salvation. Listen up, hot dog. Listen up, hot dog. Christ could, uh, Jesus Christ, he could keep your buns out of hell. He could, uh, don't cook, don't cook. A hot dog doesn't want to cook in the lake of fire when Jesus Christ could save your buns from being thrown into hell. Who's ready? You know, we've seen a lot of people cheer for drunkenness and debauchery, but we haven't seen, uh, one thing we haven't seen is uh, repentance. We haven't seen repentance. This guy's kind of spacey if he thinks he can, uh, he can get into heaven as a drunkard. 
You're you're out you're out floating in space if you think you can uh, get into God's kingdom as a drunkard. Your hazmat suit won't save you from the wrath of God. Your hazmat suit is not going to save you from the wrath of God on judgment day. Only the blood of Jesus Christ. Only the blood of Jesus Christ will save you, folks. I, I don't, you know, what's amazing, I think the biggest reality, look, there, look, I told you ladies, there would be ravenous wolves out here trying to take advantage. You drunk girls are going to be like wounded lambs uh, to all these ravenous wolves. There's a ravenous wolf looking for a drunk girl like a wounded lamb out here. Wounded lamb. Listen up, prisoners. Jesus Christ could set you free. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. Don't be tipping. Uh, don't be tipping a little bit for your homies in lockdown. You need to be set free. From, you need to break the chains. Watch out! Watch out! You need to uh, be set free from the wrath of God that's coming towards you. Listen. You need to hop back over that wall. Now, listen up, Logan. Listen up, Logan. Your adamantium wall is going to melt in the lake of fire. Your adamantium is going to melt on the lake uh, in the lake of fire, Logan. Listen up and tell your tell your Mexican friend there, you better jump back over that wall and get right with God. Better get right with God. Look at these vampires. We got little vampire girls here. You know, the only blood you vampires should worry about is the blood of Jesus. The only blood you vampires should want is the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the only blood a vampire should want to have to be set free from their wickedness. Be set free from your wickedness, folks, before it's too late. Listen to that song they're playing. They're playing a song called Fireproof. You're not going to be fireproof on Judgment Day. There's only one way to be fireproof, and that's through the blood of Jesus Christ. Listen to that song, guys. They're playing a song called Fireproof. Only one way to be fireproof, and that's through the blood of Jesus Christ. You enter the lake of fire, you're not going to be fireproof at all. Not going to be fireproof at all in the flames of hell. Only one way to be fireproof, and that's through the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, even SEAL Team 6 couldn't save you from the wrath of God on Judgment Day. Only the shed blood of Jesus Christ. The Marines, the Marine, even the Marines ain't going to be able to save you from God's wrath on Judgment Day. You need to come to Jesus today before it's too late. Time to come to Jesus. Time to repent of your sin. Time to put down the bottle and pick up a Bible. Put down that bottle and pick up a Bible, people. Listen up, Pharaoh. Moses said, set my people free. Set my people free, Pharaoh. Jesus Christ could set you free. Every one of you is a slave. Not a slave to Pharaoh, but a slave to sin. You are a slave to that which you obey. Either sin, which leads to death, or obedience, which leads to righteousness. At least she's being honest with her devil horns. At least she's being honest with her devil horns. Children of the devil. You know, the Bible says that he who sins is of the devil. We've got a dark angel and a devil. It says that we are all sinners. Where does it say that? We are all sinners. Where does it say that? You sin every day. Where does it say that? Where's the Bible say that? Jesus told the Jesus told the woman caught in adultery to go and sin no more. Wickedness. Wicked, wicked. Before you've even bought a single beer, before you bought a single beer, you paid like 15, 20 bucks just for a ticket to get drunk. Wickedness. Listen up. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be the grapes of wrath. On Judgment Day, you're going to be the grapes of wrath. The Bible says you are storing up wrath for yourself for the day of God's wrath when His just judgment will be revealed. The grapes, the grapes, and the wine press of God's wrath will be stomped on Judgment Day. Listen up, mighty ducks. God's going to put you in the penalty box. God's going to put you ducks in the penalty box. It's not going to be a two-minute penalty. God's penalty box is eternal. God's penalty box is eternal, hockey players. Get right. Yeah. Now, I'm not trolling you today. I'm just out here telling you about Jesus Christ. Listen up, Brittany. Listen up, Brittany. When you're on Judgment Day, you're not going to be able to say, Oops, I did it again to Jesus. No, he's going to demand holiness. Jesus demands holiness, Brittany. Can't tell him, Oops, I did it again on Judgment Day. Better get right with him. Get right with him now. You are no Wonder Woman. You are no Wonder Woman. 
You're just a woman who makes me wonder why you would waste your time at a pub crawl. You are no wonder woman, just a woman that makes me wonder what are you doing out here at a pub crawl when these men are a bunch of pervert, ravenous wolves. Who's ready? Keep our, keep our words pure. Now listen up, hot dog. Listen up, hot dog. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna be cooked, cooked in the lake of fire. You're gonna burn up in that lake of fire, hot dog, if you don't repent. You're a wee jobby Scotsman. You're a wee jobby Scotsman. You better get right with. You better get right with God, Scotsman. No, nope. gonna be a bunch of pervert guys trying to take a bite out of that donut over there. Get right with them before it's too late. Get right with them too, before it's too late. Cruella DeVille, you need to stop being so cruel and come to Jesus Christ. Go fire. Listen up, pumpkins. God's still willing to carve out a place in the kingdom of God for you. Listen up, pumpkins. God is still willing to carve out a place in the kingdom of God for you if you will repent. You are no wonder woman. You are just a woman who makes me wonder why you want to sin against God. You're out of luck, leprechaun. Get right with God. If you die as an unrepentant sinner, leprechaun, you are out of luck. There's no pot of gold in that pub fest. You need to come to the foot of the cross. It's not the end of the rainbow, leprechaun. It's the foot of the cross you need to come to. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. That's it, folks. One way into God's kingdom. David, ha David Hasselhoff isn't going to save you on Judgment Day, Baywatch. David Hasselhoff ain't going to save you on Judgment Day. Does that pimp actually know that this is a Halloween pub crawl, or is he just out working his normal job today? Because the way these girls are dressed, it makes me wonder. The way these girls are dressed, it makes me wonder if that guy's dressed as a pimp or actually is one. The Bible says that a godly woman will dress with modest apparel. Why don't you ladies get back in your car? You're going the right way. Get back in your car. Go home. Have a Bible study. Put on uh, looser clothing. Listen up, ref. Listen up, ref. You are out of bounds. I'm throwing a penalty flag on that outfit, ref. I am throwing a penalty flag on that outfit, ref. The Bible says that a godly woman will dress with modest apparel. Listen up, referee. I'm throwing a penalty flag on that outfit. Who's ready? Very kind, who's very kind and very loving. Kind. Very kind and very loving to tell these sinners to uh, stop going to hell. Stop being on your way to hell. I'm not going to vote for you, Pedro. I'm voting for Jesus Christ. You need to cast your ballot for Jesus Christ, Pedro. You need to cast your ballot for Jesus Christ, Pedro. Always okay, brother. Oh no, this is serious. This is serious business here. Trying to tell these immodest ladies that a godly woman will dress with modest apparel. You guys look like death warmed over. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. You got three blind mice over here. You must be blind if you're going into this pub crawl where all these pervert guys are. We got another Bob Ross. Hey Bob Ross. Hey Bob Ross, let me paint a clear picture for you. If you die as an unrepentant sinner, you're going to end up in hell. Going to end up in hell. There they are. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. You know, Jesus Christ gave sight to the blind. Jesus Christ gave sight to the blind. You need to come to him. You're blindly... The Bible says that the blind follow the blind and they both fall into a ditch. The blind mice lead, following the blind drunks and they both fall into a ditch. I think your sin has blinded you to reality. You know, you're tor if you die as an unrepentant sinner, your torment in hell will keep going and going and going and going and going. Listen up, Energizer Bunny. If you die as an unrepentant sinner, your torment will keep going and going and going and going and going. The squirrel right, get right again. With Listen up, squirrel. You're nuts. You listen up, squirrel. You are nuts if you think you can go in there, get drunk, and still be fine with God. Year after year. year. Oh, he doesn't judge. He's going to have to rename Judgment Day then, isn't he? Yeah, this, uh, the sinner, the sinner back there said God doesn't judge. Somebody in his marking department made a big mistake naming Judgment Day. Yeah, he's going to have to rename Judgment Day if he doesn't judge. What is it?